It's been a very eventful week, and it's worth looking back over the Hugh Edwards scandal a week later, uh, and a reaction to the scandal, because there's so much else going on. Uh, on the one hand, you've got Emily Maitlis. Uh, she's the person who interviewed Prince Andrew, and um, she takes the view that really the BBC and reporters shouldn't be doing their job. They should simply have gone to HR and said, look, um, uh, a, little bit, a little bit of elite privilege here. Uh, why, don't, um, why don't you just quieten it down a bit and put your trousers back on because uh, uh, otherwise this will get into the news. Well, really, I mean, didn't she, didn't she have the same advice for Prince Andrew? Uh, I think there's a much... There's much more to be said for a wonderful article written by Camilla Long in The Times, and I'll get onto that in a few minutes. Um, the, the scandal uh, of Hugh Edwards was that he was caught sending or receiving pictures of a 17-year-old child, we don't know the gender, and uh, that more people came forward after the story came out. So legitimising and... Um, and, and confirming the morality of uh, putting out the story in the first place. The story was drummed up, the nastiness of the story was drummed up more by the BBC's decision to anonymise the presenter and it became a sort of who done it. But there were two aspects to the problem uh, the first was the exchange of pictures, which may or may not have been criminal. I don't think that was really the the focus of the of the initial disclosures, but it became so. Uh, and secondly, the abusive language and the um, and the concerns uh, of Mr. Edwards uh, to the people who had um, to the family of the people who had. Um, uh, so, uh, let the story get public. Well, I think if I had been the parents, I, I, I would have equally considered going to the media uh, if the police dismissed it as not important. It, it, it clearly was an important story. Now, the fact that the BBC didn't deal with this in a clear way meant that other people were tarnished, people like Jeremy Vine, uh, who's since sued... A fellow called Andy Plum Four. He, well, he could have sued anybody. Uh, Andy Plum Four has apologised and paid a thousand pounds to a motor neuron charity. But Jeremy Vine's reputation was badly tarnished, uh, and that was a result of the BBC stupidity. It didn't need to happen. Uh, Jeremy Vine's reputation was tarnished. Uh, Rylan Clark had to get on the media and say it wasn't him, and you know other, others, uh, others were doing this as well. Even even people who weren't on six-figure salaries, um, who couldn't possibly have been the anonymous presenter, were getting on the bandwagon saying, "Well, it's not me." Some people kept quiet, uh, simply because somebody's trending on Twitter doesn't mean that they're trending worldwide anymore. There's the algorithm and it, 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 it means, um, you know, you're trending within the, within the confines of the interests that you've already expressed. So it's a very personal trending these days. But Hugh, Hugh Edwards is now in hospital. Uh, is this using his mental health? Is it like Philip Schofield using his homosexuality, to avoid taking responsibility, who knows. Uh, I'm certainly aware that mental health can uh, make people do very strange things. And uh, that, might, um, that might explain Hugh Edwards' behaviour. But it doesn't mean that it's any the less damaging to uh, the unnamed person's family or indeed the youth. And I think in, in the way the story tornadoed out of control, the victims in the story were, were sort of forgotten. 
And we come back to the issue. If the police aren't going to do anything, the media really is the only recourse. And, of course, one has sympathy for the, um, for the person at the centre of the debate. It's really tough being um, in the middle of that maelstrom, whether you are Hugh Edwards, whether you are Philip Schofield, um, or even Dan Wooten. The, uh, while, it, while it's going on, it's it, it must be horrific. Um, but people have been hurt. And I think the focus should be less on the uh, less on the um, star presenter and more on what can we do to repair the damage? Because has anybody actually repaired the damage for the people who are clearly in pain? Clearly. Uh, and why, why, why have people not reached out instead? The way these scandals work, all the money, all the effort is spent in try, by, the, um, uh, by the focus is spent probably in trying to avoid um, the scandal getting out of control. It's, uh, it, the money is spent on damage limitation. Now, Camilla Long um, wrote a wrote a really interesting article last week um, and uh, drew attention to, you know, is something in the public interest or or is it not? Uh, is it in the public interest even if it's not strictly criminal? Uh, when the police say they're not taking action, does that mean that no criminal activity has taken place? No, it doesn't. It just means they're not going to prosecute. Um, I think in the end it's about perception and responsibility and people who are in the public eye have a responsibility um, must live up to that image they've assumed now maybe that image is wrong maybe that image should never have been taken on um, she, uh, Camilla Long said uh, we're all behaving as if we're in an asylum itself with these hushed tones, angry reactions, suppositions, finger-pointing, self-righteous um, comments, uh, self-righteous tribes. Um, but the division between uh, the sort of Katie Hopkins tittle-tattle um, and, um, and, and, frankly, nastiness uh, and the Emily Maitlis, uh, uh, sort of idea that we should not pursue the truth, that we should um, uh, we should hide either out of fear of being um, cornered in a libel court, or or or, or, or fear of um, of upsetting our friends who are also journalists. Um, no. It's not a question of Hugh Edwards is a demon or the BBC uh, and The Sun is wrong to report or to investigate. No, the problem really lies somewhere in the, in the middle. Certainly for somebody who has been the subject of, or, 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 or the, uh, the subject of predatory behavior, yes, uh, the person who's done that probably is a demon. But most of us are not in that position. We're observing. Uh, and uh, there should be caution in the way that um, the BBC and The Sun investigate. The, uh, the tone of delight in some of The Sun reports was unattractive. Um, and as for the criminality, well, the law is subjective. And what is repeated is not necessarily true, but it doesn't mean it shouldn't be repeated. Um, it's only by getting the, getting the information out there that we can actually have the discussion. And if there's an element of kindness, even in the, even in the reportage, uh, then, that must, then that must count for something, I think. Um, you should criticize. You should report, and um, I think um, 
I think otherwise we 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 have no way of um, of, of of helping those people who have been damaged by an abuse of power. Now, how do we end up with a, with the sort of Hugh Edwards situation or or Philip Schofield situation? Uh, we end up with we, we we come back again and again and again to the abuse of production, and it comes back to the same issue that I've been raising and harping on about again and again and again with reality TV. Production is out of control, and uh, you turn to the one uh, face in government that can help, and it's indifferent, and it tries to avoid responsibility. It says, oh, talk to Ofcom. Well, Ofcom says, talk to the DCMS. The DCMS says, talk to Ofcom. And you just go round and round and round. And I've been going round and round for the last four years. And in the end, you think, well, somebody's got to take responsibility because what we're ending up with is a form of television which is um, extraordinarily damaging. Uh, damaging not only to um, the performers who are on it, but also damaging, I think, to the public who are watching it. And we cannot have, we, 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 we cannot idolize people who are um, doing things which are, which, which is a scurrilous. Um, does that mean we shouldn't have people on television? No, we shouldn't idolize them. We shouldn't be pushing these people up into some sort of pseudo-divinity. That's the issue.